<laughs> Hauling out the white bread. Mmm, good. All full of nice, pasty, weird shit. <laughs> so, where are you guys from? Uh, Ithaca, New York. Ithaca? I think I've almost been to Ithaca. Really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in central New York, kind of near Syracuse and uh, Binghamton. Actually, I went through there on my way to the Adirondacks. You go? Uh, yeah, I go to the Adirondacks a lot. It's great. It's great there. They let you camp anywhere you want. Yeah, they do. It's really nice. Yeah, in the state park. Yeah. So you guys, how long have you been following the dead for? Um, I've been following them for about four and a half years. What makes you like create such a dedication towards them? <laughs> Uh, I like, I, I'm really here for like the people and the scene, you know, um, if I don't get into the concerts and stuff, it's not that big a deal, but, you know, I'm here for the party and, you know, there's a lot of good energy and good things happening. You can't bite it, man. Just speak into it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Her name is Max. Hi, Max. She actually, like, she falls asleep when I put the tent on, which is, I guess is a good sign, but when you put on Bob Marley, she gets up and, and like, jumps all around and, yeah, starts chewing stuff. And I can see she likes chewing things. <laughs> you can't chew this, though. It's expensive. Where are you guys from? I'm from New York. Oh, yeah, where? Yeah. The city or somewhere? No, it's like a half an hour inside the city, White Plains. Never heard of it. There's uh, people from Ithaca here. Ithaca? That's like way north of me. I'm, I'm only like half an hour outside of the city, you know? Yeah, you follow the dead uh, on a regular sort of basis? or? I used to. used to. Sort of jumped off the bandwagon and shook my head out for a while, you know? To what, what would you say uh, caused you to jump on the bandwagon to begin with? Like what was, uh, what was interesting about the whole scene? Because this society is a hell of a lot better than the one that, that's out there, you know. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> I, I sort of dig to this one, you know. I know, I know. If you can pick a society, man, this would be it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. Or as close to it as uh, is seemingly possible these days. Yeah. How many shows you've seen, would you say? Oh, in my total? Oh, these will probably make 28, 29, 30. I really, you know, about that. In really? The 30s, yeah. That, that's a lot of dead shows. That's a lot, not compared to half the people, though, you know. What, what would you say uh, causes the, uh, or creates the commitment and the desire to see them so regularly? Well, it's a hell of a good time. They're a great band. Um, you know, pretty much that's about it. That's all, that's all you need, you know. This is my spring break. I go to school, and this is it. So you go to school? What do you take at school? I'm a forestry major. <laughs> so you're going to save the forest or try and influence people? I don't know. I'm trying to get out of it because it's pretty much cut the forest. So <laughs> let's go to environmental conservation. You know, kind of like... <laughs> yeah, but in a way, forest management is... It's is true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It is conservation. And, but it's a little too much of a business aspect for me. And I can't... But see, if, you, if you're inside there, you can make it different. If, you, if, you have the, if you're pulling the, uh, the hands... It's true. It's true, you're right. I, I don't know, right now, I'm in a two-year school at UNH, and just, to, you know, oh, yeah. two, New Hampshire, yeah. You want to talk with us for a few minutes? Would you like to sign a petition to George Bush to help save the rainforest? Sorry, what is it? It's to George Bush to help save the rainforest. Sure, I'll sign that, yeah. Do you want to hold it for a minute? Sure. Um, there's actually genocide taking place in Brazil, in the mining. Um, there's like mercury and other toxic things that flow into the rivers because of the way they mine. Um, yeah. And uh, there's a tribe there that had like 800 members like 10 years ago, and now they're, you know, like last year 50 people died and some poisonings, you know. And it's their homeland is threatened by miners and, you know, foreigners with foreign diseases, you know. And all around in the rainforest, there's these primitive people that lived as we once lived, you know, in a pristine natural atmosphere, you know, where they go out and they, they survive off the land. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. We don't need a building. We don't need all this, you know, cars and everything that we have today. You know, you can survive off of just what you find in your environment, you know. And this whole man-made world that we created, we're destroying our own natural world that we came out of to recreate the world. And what we'll end up doing is killing ourselves because we'll run out of oxygen, greenhouse effect kind of thing. Everybody here, like, 
feeds each other and and like creates a service for each other. Like if I was thirsty, I wouldn't have to go to the store. I just find somebody else. If somebody gave me money, so now I can go spend money with them, and the money circulates. That's, uh, it's, I agree with you. The family. And this is like a big, great, big family. The, the whole world, or just like, would you would you see it limiting if everybody was willing? Every show, every town, there's a million dollars spent. Yeah. That's serious money, a million dollars. You know, and the, te the dead, each person in the dead make a million a year. Would you, would you say that uh, easy? Uh, uh, most of society could sort of take it. Really? Just take some. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that uh, most of uh, society would be able to become accustomed to this kind of uh, process of interacting? Yeah, I mean, like so freely giving and taking and like that. Or do you think we've sort of ourselves up well, enough that we could see? I don't know. I have a problem with ba bad karma. You know, you give somebody the situation where they can take from you, yeah. then you're actually can causing someone to be a thief by giving them something that they can steal from you. You know, making it too easy for them. So it's got to be a two-way street. Right? Well, yeah. Would you say that's possible? At then? times, you need to depend on other people. Would you say that's possible? Like in in a larger sense of outside the dead shows, you think a society could function like this nowadays? Like a, a larger well, if sort of. There aren't a lot of people. Like in an Indian society, yeah. everything is shared. They have giveaways so that nobody has too much, so that nobody would want to take it away from them. Mm -hmm. you but know, everything is spread out. All the wealth is spread out, rather than having somebody hoarding too much, and then they have thieves come and take it away from them. So if everything's spread out and everybody has everything and nobody needs everything, nobody has to have anything, nobody has to take anything from anybody else. Really? Watching Cable 10, your community television station.